Welcome back, Toy Fans, to episode 199 of Reynolds Reviews. And on today's episode, we've got two awesome gift boxes from two even more awesome guys. Cue the match. Welcome back, everyone. Now, like I said in the intro today, we are going to open two awesome gift boxes from two even more awesome guys. Now, uh, I got these actually over Christmas, uh, so it's a few weeks afterwards now. Now, these gift boxes are from Matt from Keep On Collecting all the way from Australia, and the other one is from Ron all the way from the US. Now, you've seen these guys featured on the channel before, so let's jump in and see what the guys have been generous enough to send us. Okay, here we go, folks. So as you can see, here is the parcel from Matt. And just before I say anything else, look at that. I mean, $58 from Australia. Now, I think that's around 30 quid in the UK. So before we get to what's inside, look at how generous people are in our community. I mean, thank you, Matt. That is so, so good of you. I mean, that is not cheap. Uh, and it's not a huge box, folks. So, yeah, really appreciate the generosity, Matt. But let's get inside it and see what we've got. It has taken a little bit of a beating, so I hope everything's okay. We've had to open it from the top, folks, so I don't know if I can get everything properly. Oh, look. Oh, right. I don't know if I have to slide everything out. One second, folks. Oh, packing peanuts everywhere. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm making such a mess, folks. Well, he's certainly packed it well, folks. <laughs> we have got a lot of packing peanuts. Right, let's get everything cleaned up and we'll see what we've got. All right, folks. So Matt has sent us a card first, so let's have a quick read. Oh, it's a very nice card. Thank you, Matt. Merry Christmas. And it says inside, Happy Christmas, Luke, Rachel and Connor. Enjoy the chocolate-filled gifts of goodness. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely will, Matt. Thank you. We hope you have a fantastic Christmas with family and friends. Luke, thanks for your friendship this year. Well, mate, you're absolutely welcome. And thank you for yours as well. It's been absolutely fantastic getting to know you, Matt. I'm grateful for all our chats. Can't wait to hang out more in 2024. Your friends, Matt and Leanne. Well, absolutely, Matt. It's been absolutely great getting to know you a little bit in the recent sort of months and things like that. And long may that continue. I really do enjoy our chats. But this wasn't obviously the only thing that was in the box, folks. So one of the first things I pulled out were these. So we've got Violet Crumble. Now, I look, looking at these, I think these are like our version of sort of crunchy. They look like a crunchy bar. They're like chocolate with sort of honeycomb centre. Now, I'm not a huge fan of those if they are like that, but I know Connor and Rachel are. So, yeah, they will love those. So thank you, Matt. But one of our favourite things to come from Australia were these. Oh, we've got some Tim Tams, folks. Now, uh, you may remember a few months back, Matt was very, very kind and actually gifted me um, his very own vintage cloud car. But in the parcel, he sent some Tim Tams. And I've got to be honest, they're absolutely awesome. They're so chocolatey and so nice. However, I got like two. I think Connor and Rachel went through them and I think I only got two. So Matt has been nice enough to send some more for Christmas. So we've got some chocolate Tim Tams. But we also got some double chock or double coated Tim Tams. Look at them. Again, not sure how many I'll get of these. It says there's nine inside. How many do you think I'll get? I'm betting about one. But they're awesome. But my favourite are these. So we've got some dark chock and mint Tim Tams. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm extremely tempted to hide these because chock mint is my favourite. I absolutely love it. So I'm very, very excited to get these. And there's only eight in these, not nine. So I'm tempted to sneak these away somewhere in the base. But Matt, thank you so much. We absolutely love Tim Tams in this house and they will be fantastic and just will enjoy them so much over Christmas. But there's one more thing, folks. Matt also sent me this now. Uh, Matt contacted me and said he'd picked this up at local toy fair and, and asked if I had it. Now, I said, not only, Matt, do I not have it, I've never seen these before. So these are very, very tiny mini comics for Mask. And you can see the Kenner logo down in the bottom. Now, the Kenner logo gave me a little bit of a clue. Um, obviously, they came with the toys. Now, I didn't know for certain. And then Matt got back in touch with me and said, I've done a little bit of research, Luke. And these mini comics were actually issued with early versions of the toys. So, for example, an early version of Thunderhawk, an early version of Switchblade. And these actually came with the toys, and I have no clue. I did not know that whatsoever. So these are tiny mini comics that came with early editions of the toys. And what I did notice just then, look at that. And there we go. It's still got the original person's name in it. So Christopher Wilson. It's even got his address look. Look at that. How cool is that? But 
These are so good, man. So I had no clue these came with the early editions of the toys. And Matt told me that there is three to collect. So I've got number two. So obviously I've got to go for number one and number three now. But look at that. We've got Dusty Hayes there in the Hydra boat. We've got Brad Turner and Condor in the sky. We've got Slyrax and Piranha firing into the water. What an awesome little gift. So thank you so much, Matt. That is awesome. And we'll go fantastic on the mask shelf. But... Matt's gift box wasn't the only one I received in recent weeks. Okay, here we go, folks. So like I said, let's get into this and see what Ron has been kind enough to send us. Oh, I can see a note. Oh, no, it's a Christmas card. Let's take a look. Oh, we've got a very nice big polar bear on there. Greetings of the season. Oh. Oh, we've got a note that's come out of it. Oh, wow, it's quite big. So it says, Hi Luke, season's greetings and happy holidays. I got you a few things that I picked up that I think you might like. Uh, may you and your family have a wonderful holiday. All the best, Ron. P.S. There is a sub note in here. I've got it, Ron. It's right here. Thank you. Uh, that tells you a little bit about what's included. So do not read it. Ah, so don't read it until after you've unwrapped the gifts. Okay. PSS, it is my understanding that you do not have the types of candy I sent in the UK. No, we, a lot of the candy in the UK is nowhere near the same as in the US, Ron. Uh, so I hope you enjoy those. Or if you do not, your, your wife and son might. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will, Ron. Thank you. Right, okay. So we've obviously got some candy in here. I won't open the note until I've opened everything. So let's see what Ron sent us. Oh, we've got some nice wrapped gifts. Ah, now, that must be the candy. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so first out we've got, oh, we've got an Almond Joy. Yeah, we certainly don't have that in the UK, Ron. Then we've got, oh, we've got Mounds. I don't know what they are. Dark chocolate and coconut. I do love coconut though, Ron. We have got, now I am familiar with this. We've got a Butterfinger. Yeah, definitely familiar with those. We don't have those here again, but I've heard of those, Ron. We've got, oh, we've got a Hershey's bar. So Hershey's cookies and cream. Wow, this is awesome, Ron. Thank you. And then we've got, oh, we've got two of these. So we've got two York biscuits. So it says peppermint patties. Ah, okay. You know what? How weird. I've only just put that together. So peppermint patty. So that's like from Charlie Brown. I've never, I've never put that together. <laughs> How stupid. But we've got some gifts. So let's see what we've got there. Oh, no way. Look. Oh, so we've got we've got some GI Joes, folks. So forgive me, Ron. I'm still learning everyone's name now. I know that that guy's Lifeline. Oh, he looks wicked, man. He will go nicely with my Tiger Force Lifeline. Now I do recognise this guy, but I'm sorry, Ron. I don't know his name. I'll find that out before I carry on the video. But wow, they look awesome. I love Lifeline. They are so good. Thank you, mate. We'll take a closer look, folks. Like I said. And then we've got one more, so let's see what this is. Oh, I know what this is. You know what, I was just talking about this to a friend of mine the other day. So this, if you know Mask, this looks like the collector set. Look at that. Wow. And I've actually got an Alex Sector to go with it. Oh, Ron, that is awesome. Thank you so much, man. It looks in great shape too. Oh, that's wicked. Okay, let's get everything on the table and we'll take a much closer look at these. Okay, here we go, folks. So this guy, I did put it on screen earlier, but I didn't know his name at the time. But Ron also got in touch and told me that this guy is Airborne. And he's wicked. Now, I did recognise him when I opened it. I couldn't remember his name. I'm still very much learning with G.I. Joe, as you know. Uh, I've said before, it is only a very small side collection. And it is only a side collection, folks. This is only like my 10th figure. But look at this guy, man. He's awesome and he's in great condition. His paint is brilliant. No elbow cracks, no crotch rot. And as you can see, he's complete. He's got his rifle with his bayonet. He's got his helmet and he's got his backpack as well. But this guy's wicked. I've said before, when it comes to G.I. Joe, I'm only going to get the ones that I remember, the, the ones that I'm familiar with, and the ones that I just like the look of, but this guy was definitely on the list. He is awesome. 
And like I said, in such good condition. Ron, whenever he sends me anything, bless him, he always sends me things that are always in excellent condition, you know. I never have to do anything and very rarely need to add bits to it. So, yeah, this is awesome, Ron. Thank you so much. So this is Airborne, folks. And he will go lovingly into the G.I. Joe collection. But it wasn't the only Joe that Ron sent me. So let's move on to Lifeline. Okay, and here we go, folks. So this is Lifeline, and I absolutely love Lifeline. However, Ron did say there was a sub-note in the package that I needed to read before showing this guy. So it says, hi, Luke, this is the sub-note. So the Lifeline G.I. Joe figure is actually a special Kellogg's cereal mail away from 1991. Oh, wow, that's awesome. He is complete, but has some differences from the original 80s figure. See if you can figure out what they changed. Enjoy, Ron. Oh, wow. Well, like I said, folks, I'm still learning. I had absolutely no clue that this wasn't the lifeline that I thought it was. I just opened it and thought it was the original lifeline. So this is a lifeline mail away from 1991 that you got in Kellogg's cereal. Well, I had absolutely no clue about that. But what an awesome figure. And again, in fantastic condition. And I, I always said when I get a lifeline figure, I want the rescue down his leg to be really prominent. And that looks fantastic. So... Let's just quickly jump away and do a quick bit of research. I'll be back, folks. Okay, so we're back, everyone, now. So I've disappeared and done a little bit of quick basic research just to see about this figure. And as Ron said, it is sort of quite different to the original version 1. So this is actually... A version 3 lifeline and how he differs to version 1 is a few ways really so the first one is the version 1 has a white patch or a white pocket on this leg which this figure doesn't have but on his left leg he also has a white holster with a gun in it on the version 1 whereas this one doesn't so that is one difference straight away that the figure is actually slightly different to the version 1 but also the version 1 comes with more accessories so the version 1 comes with a backpack comes with his medical bag but also comes with some breathing apparatus and a gun whereas the version 3 this one only comes with his backpack and his medical bag so quite different really but I would have had no clue if Ron hadn't told me but this guy is awesome but he also told me it was a mail away now this guy was available as a mail away offer in 1991 from Kellogg's Rice Krispies. I mean, how awesome is that? So, I mean, I don't know. Is this quite hard to get then? I don't know. I don't know if I've got a sort of really cool variant that's maybe not easy to find in this one, but Ron, he's absolutely awesome. And once again, in amazing condition, there's virtually no paint rub on there. In fact, there's no real paint rub on there. He looks fantastic. And again, Ron, complete you always do things properly so thank you mate he is awesome in fact i would probably say lifeline is one of my favorite figures from when i was a kid because i did have him and i always remember thinking just how cool he looked so yeah he is gonna go lovingly into the gi joe collection and again thank you ron he will be treasured but we've got one more thing to look at folks and if you know me you know i'm a mask fan so let's go take a look okay and here we go folks so here is the collector set with Alex Sector. Now, I did say when I was opening it that I said, oh, I've got an Alex Sector for this set. Uh, but once I opened it up, he was inside. So I've now got a spare one, which is great. So here is Alex Sector. And you'll see he's slightly different from the Boulder Hill version. So he's got his yellow, I don't know what you call yellow jacket on there. And he has got his Disruptor Mask. And Disruptor Mask is slightly different to Jackrabbit Mask. It's slightly different in colour. But Disruptor Mask actually interferes with radar signals. So there we've got Alex Scepter with his disruptor mask and then we have got the collector mini play set and having opened this and looked at it properly it's in exceptional condition these stickers are often all peeling and worn the one on the stop sign as well but they are all absolutely immaculate like I said folks Ron does things properly but that is absolutely amazing thank you Ron so this is masquerades as a toll booth and then its transformation is it transforms into a mini armored bunker and you can see alex sector in there ready for action but this is awesome so this is one of three mini play sets that was released from mask 
In this third series of toys, the racing series, three mini play sets were released with that series, so we had uh, the collector set, as you can see. We also had Pitstop Catapult, which our site was very kind and sent me that a few weeks ago. And then we've also got uh, Bill Bob Blast, which is one that I need to pick up, and then that will be the mini play sets complete. But Ron, this is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you sending it. It will be treasured like everything, mate. So yeah, how awesome is that, folks? Let's get everything back on the table and we'll wrap up. And there we go, folks. Once again, I think you'll agree, wow, how lucky am I? I am so lucky, so privileged to be surrounded by such amazing people and be part of such a generous community. Don't get me wrong, I do not take these items for granted. I don't take gift boxes for granted. I really don't. And once again, I've been looked after. So massive, massive thank you again to our Ron for sending me uh, airborne and a version 3 mail away lifeline he is absolutely awesome thank you so much but also alex sector and the collector mini playset that is fantastic ron didn't have that now because of your generosity i do that is absolutely awesome but again also thank you for all the chocolate a lot of that we don't have in the uk so i'm going to enjoy those uh, but again matt from keep on collecting thank you so much mate for the mask mini comic that is wicked man i'm really going to try and get number one and number three but also again thank you for all the lovely australian treats as well now the keen eye amongst you will notice that obviously matt sent us the violet crumble there and tim tams but you'll notice that the biggest pack of tim tams is gone rachel had that away the second i opened that box so i can't show it again folks that has gone but i kept back the top mint ones i'm going to enjoy those but boys thank you so much you are so generous and you've looked after me once again as you always do but yeah, there we go, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill by now, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you feel that you would like to leave a like and subscribe. But failing that, please leave a comment. I try to reply to everybody. And as always, folks, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.